I don't hate Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church the way most people do. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I actually have identification with them. I'm not a homophobic person, so that's not my identification. I'm not a fundamentalist, that's not my identification. I'm not a Christian, that's not my identification. Like them, I have a lot of venom in me, and I have manifested it in the ways they have. Right now, I'm doing very intensive soul searching. I want to improve myself and achieve my goals. Right now, I'm focusing, zooming in on Westboro Baptist Church because it represents a layer of my soul I am seeking to remove, the moral crusader level of my soul. This level of the soul is ineffective and it prevents me from getting what I want. I see myself in Fred Phelps in Westboro Baptist Church, thus I can't hate them. And I would like to read you a position paper from the autonomy party, the political party I have. And this represents my views since I am a member of the autonomy party, a founder in fact, and thus the changes I make in my personal life reflect the party. As you can see, I have some of the same themes as Fred Phelps does, and this was before I even cared two wits about Fred Phelps. I talk about how you're either 100% against abortion and alcohol or 100% for it, and those who are not doing anything about it are the opposite. Take a close look at what I write and see the comparisons, and this is why I need to change. I want to be an iconoclast a revered iconoclast and a moral crusader is not a revered iconoclast. This is from Autonomy Party Paper 92 called The Troops Should Be Sent to Destroy Abortion Clinics, Breweries, Tobacco Shops, Taverns, and Animal Exploiting Establishment. This is similar to Westboro Baptist's Church's most extreme position on everything such as in one video they say gays should be put to death. They say that more than once, of course. And you will see some of the logic here that's similar to their logic, such as saying anyone who doesn't do exactly what they want to do, what would they want them to do in regard to homosexuality is on the other side. Bush sent troops to Iraq. But that was not right. The left is very good at pointing this out, but there's a problem with some leftists. Some folks actually believe we should have no military. No, not every anti-war person believes that, as sometimes opponents suggest, but a smaller group actually does want the military abolished. I do not believe the military is inherently troublesome. Problems emanate from more more from the agendas of those in power rather than the institution of the military itself. I hop on board with the realists who say we need a military. What should the military do then? Where should the troops be sent? Few conservatives have the guts to challenge the Bush's, Bush's regime's betrayal of their values. Fortunately, the group Missionaries to the Preborn had a vision of what Bush is made of when they said to some pro-choice people. You all believe George W. Bush is a big threat? We don't think he's going to do anything about abortion, that is. They are right, right, right. This man seems to care more about Kurds in faraway Iraq than he does about American citizens. At least the Kurds have gotten a chance to live, something millions of babies never will. With a record like this, pro-life people have no justification to support Bush. Why hasn't Bush sent troops to invade abortion clinics? If he really was that pro-life, he should do that instead of immorally sending troops to Iraq. If the police are unable to handle matters, then troops should be sent into abortion clinics, taverns, breweries, tobacco companies, and animal murdering and, and or exploiting businesses if they refuse to halt their rotten activities. Troops being used for justice is one of the most beautiful sights on the planet. Troops being used for justice is one of the most exciting forces on the planet. 
but troops used the other way are endlessly dangerous. The autonomy party supports the moral use of armed forces. If police aren't able to handle matters, then if abortion clinics, tobacco shops, taverns, breweries, and animal exploiting establishments do not cease their immoral activities with the opportunity of converting into vegan shops or other respectable establishments, troops should be sent in to invade and tanks and other heavy army equipment should be sent in to destroy evil equipment. All the tools of their wrongdoings shall be destroyed by wonderful troops who shall try their hardest to make sure humans are not physically harmed in the process. Support sending troops where they should be sent by choosing the Autonomy Party. www.autonomyparty.com